Hello and welcome to the 13th video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So last video remember we basically apart from piece list completed this parse fen function and this video we're going to put in a function that prints the board to the console so we can use this later on for lots of debugging. Now I'm going to put this function near the top of the board.js and I'm in fact going to put it above generate position key and make some space. Before I do this, we need some definitions and they're going to go in defs.h. The first definition we need is let's already put in a string and let's put it below ranks board here for the starting fen position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some character variables, strings, just to make things a little bit easier to print things later on to the screen like squares and side and things like this. So I've set up here the piece cars which are indexed by piece, side car by side, rank car by rank and file car by file which makes things easy later on to print squares and things like that to the screen simply indexing these as an array. So with those definitions in, back to board and this function is actually really simple it's not very difficult, I'll put it in bit by bit, um, but it's nice to have. So first thing, as always, variable declarations at the front of the function, the game board, I'm just going to scroll a little bit further up here, and basically if we want to visualize the board that we want to have, if you imagine we have a board, we'd like to have it going A8 to H8 and then a7 to h7 and so on all the way down to a1 to h1 like this so we can see it basically from a white point of view. So the way we do that obviously is then to loop much like we did when we were looping through the fen string and that is we're going to start at rank 8 and file 1 so we're going to do a loop within a loop as we've seen before in other places in our code and here is the loop. So we loop from rank 8 down to rank 1, decreasing our rank. We then have a var line here, which will basically be what's printed out to the screen for each rank. So the first thing we do is get the character for the rank, so from 8 down to 1 that will be, and then put some a couple of filler spaces in here, and then I just loop through the files, I get the square, get the piece then that's on that particular square from the file and rank, and then simply use our new defined piece car array to print the character of that piece surrounded by a space so they're at least a little bit readable and then that rank's finished print the rank to the console and go around to the next rank it's not really rocket science or anything complicated and the only last bit for a little make it a little bit aesthetically pleasing or more readable is to then put something in to log an empty line here and then now I've put these three space holders in because I'd like the files to come underneath the pieces here so that at least on the left hand side we've got the ranks along the bottom we've then got the file letter as well so we can see the squares a little bit easier and the last thing to do is to log the side on percent square and the casting permission and the key so the side using our new side character on percent square, we'll put in later on in the in the in this video series some print square and print move functions. But for now, we'll just print the raw square in this way. And then I'm going to reset line. And now what I'd like to do is actually the castling permission, which means we need to set the letters depending on what bits are set in the castling permission. So we use an AND mask here with the castling permission with our bits you remember in our definitions that our castling bits where are they where are they where are they are here so a 1 2 4 and 8 so when I go back to the board here um, I just have to because they don't have it the set these don't have the same bit in I've explained this a couple of times already before we can use an and mask to see if that permission is available in the position and if it is we add the relevant letter and then last but not least we log the castling and we also log then the key to the console and I've put here the key in hexadecimal format so it's easier to read and that's all there is to it for printing the board so what we can do now is actually test this 
So inside the main, we'll take our parsefen function, which I'll just make sure I get the right text for this, and we'll paste in our definition for our starting fen, which we have here. And then what we'll do is we'll print the board, and hopefully, because I haven't tested this beforehand, everything should be relatively OK. I'll just bring across the browser and refresh. And here you can see in the console now, with our position key, we actually have our board printed nicely to the screen with the correct pass castling permission as well. So that's it for this video then. In the next video, we'll set up this FEN box here so that we can actually set any arbitrary position and print that position then out to the console. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.